Hey guys, what's up? So it's nine o'clock on a Sunday morning and I am not even down my first cup of coffee and this is what I'm working on. Lots and lots of stuff. And no makeup, I still have my pajamas, but these Alex doors from Ikea are a nightmare. Fourteen days of Shea. Clara, Clara, come here, come help me. Cats in their boxes. Come here, Clara. Why are you? Hi, Bella. Why you want? Oh, that's a good kitty. Yeah. What? Say hello. All right, you can go. Stay out of my boxes. Yes. I said yes. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? So I have put all my Alex drawers together. It wasn't really bad. Um, I would recommend, oh, excuse me. I would recommend using a power drill um, because twisting some of those screws in by hand hurt a lot. So I ended up using a power drill. And then if you have a husband, he's always nice to, husband, wife, he's always, they're always nice to help out in the process of putting all the drawers together. But, um, you know what, Saturday morning, I, well, that Friday night, I watched Pretty Little Liars with my best friend, and I initially put everything together, and then Saturday morning, I screwed in all the screws and completed the drawers with my husband, who helped me out, so thank you, husband. But, um, so yeah, I have it all put together here, and just as a forewarning, I'm, I'm filming in my craft room right now, it's, a freaking mess like seriously these last couple months with all the making that I've just kind of been accumulating it's just kind of gotten out of control and I've tried to really organize it with certain things and it's just not worked out so I'm glad that I got these drawers from Ikea it did retail for 120 but surprisingly and if you've ever bought anything from Ikea it can be really like cheap or it can be kind of like sturdy and this is one of the more sturdier items that I've ever purchased from Ikea but like I said what I'm working with right now is a freaking mess I just have literally makeup and paper from imitations just everywhere so forewarning I do not live like this it's just like this right now so I'm going to go ahead and show you the Alex drawers right now and then I'm going to go ahead and start organizing and I'll show you some of the things that I'm organizing with okay so this is what it kind of looks like as you can see here this is the top and it has one two three four five small drawers like this and then if you can look down further there's some bigger drawers here at the bottom which will be nice for some of my bigger items but um I'll show you some of the things that I got to organize with and I've already started with some of these things like putting um certain things together that belong together but ugh, I went to Target this morning and I bought just this and this was $9.99 and it comes with eight different pieces and they're all interlocking so that'll be nice to organize with as well as I bought like a drawer I bought one of these only because did I only buy one I only bought one of these because I knew that I wanted to put like all my foundations together and it's kind of nice and I think these standing up drawers down here you can see down here will be nice to kind of put all my like stand up foundations in so if you can see I'm still wearing pajama pants spoiler alert
like I said, my this isn't going to be where it is, so bear with me as I show you what's all in here. So let's go take a look. This is what it looks like so far. I'll try and show you guys here. So in the top drawer right here, I have pressed powders, my some of my brow stuff, some smaller powders, some eyelashes, and then all of my um, Z palette magnets. So that's what's in the first drawer. And I didn't put these in any order, just kind of put them wherever they would really fit. In the second drawer, I have all of my blushes here, my cream blushes as well as my MAC blushes, some more cream blushes, um, some tools, some of my eyelash glue, my beauty blenders with some brushes under there, and then a sharpener. In the next drawer here, I have all of my bronzers, all of my highlighters, and then a couple cream bronzers there. It'd be nice if I could get some smaller dividing things, but I don't know if I'll be able to find them that small. All right, moving on. In this drawer, I have all of my concealers, my face primers, that doesn't belong in there, and then my Max Fix Plus, and then I haven't opened my baby skin yet. All right, next drawer, I have all of my lip stuff, and this is probably the fullest of them all. I have all my lip liners as well as my lip primers and treatments, my kind of lip balms, all my tart ones are in there, lip glosses. Right here I have tons of chapstick, which is good because I always can never find any chapstick. I have all of my like crayon type of ones in here as well as some of my L'Oreal Color Riche. Back there are just some ones that I hardly ever use and then I put a lot of like the smaller ones in there and then I have my new OCC lip tars right there. And the next drawer is pretty bare. It's just all the foundations that I have as well as some foundations that I don't use often. So I have room there. Try and get down lower here. And the next drawer is all of my eye stuff. So I have all my loose eyeshadows, a MAC one, a couple of my NYX cream bases, loose shadows, loose pigments, bare minerals, loose pigments, all my eye primers, some smaller palettes right here, and then all of my cream shadows are here, as well as my Makeup Geek pigments. Two drawers to go. Down here I have kind of random stuff back here. Okay, and then right here I have all of my mascaras. Tons and tons of mascaras, and I was like, oh my gosh, how did I accumulate all of these mascaras? But the majority of them, like this one, this one, this one, they all came with, like, gift with purchase. So I think that's why. All of my um, eyeliners that I use quite often, all my Urban Decay ones, and then all of my liquid liners in there. And then in the bottom drawer here is just kind of miscellaneous. Some palettes that I'm not really using right now, some skincare that I'm not using, and then just tons of samples right here that I've gotten in my birch box or whatever. So that is how I have it organized right now. Okay, like I said, that is the majority of my makeup all in those drawers. I still have out my brushes, my lipstick, and my palettes. I can show you when I'm temporarily keeping those in. I um, typically get ready in the bathroom just because there's water there. It's easier from going room to room to room. And then I have really bright lights in there. So I like to get ready in there. And um, I have a drawer that I keep the majority of my makeup in. I have a drawer that I keep my like everyday type of makeup in. So I will have to wash those bins out because they are just caked with makeup. And so I will wash those out and I will put in all of my makeup that I will generally tend to grab for and um, I'm the type of person that uses like one mascara at a time, one primer at a time so it's nice because I can put my samples in those in there and use those up as well and um, I think I'm going to show you where I keep all the rest of my makeup. Okay so right here I have all of my brushes. I have a lot more room in here now that I have the majority of my lip liners out. These are all my lipsticks that I kind of have divided by brand. And then I usually pop one out and put one in my purse. And then this thing, I don't know if you can see it here, 
I uh, got this little container from TJ Maxx, and almost all my palettes fit in there, so that's kind of nice. So, anyways, that is the end of my organization type of video. I hope you guys got some ideas on how I am organizing my Alex drawers. If you would like to see any tutorials on my everyday go-to makeup and how I organize that, or if you want to see, I can go through my makeup collection as well to give you guys some ideas of what I am liking or not liking. And um, I'm thinking I might do a video on, like, maybe every two months, like, what's in my go-to grab drawer video. I don't know. Maybe something like that. But um, hopefully, I hope, this is the last time that I'm going to be filming with my laptop that's kind of exciting. I bought a new camera. I'm super excited for it. It will be in here in time for our trip as well. So I will need to learn myself how to use that so I can use it while I'm on my trip. So I think that is everything. And I guess I will just see you guys in the next video. Bye.